I don't have a list of questions, so we'll just talk. Okay. Um, all right, well, first of all, say your name. Brandon Mays. And you have given us permission to use this footage for a documentary to be released next year. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I guess we'll start from the beginning. An investigation now confirms that a U.S. veteran has died as a result of a homicide at the VA Medical Center in Clarksburg, West there Virginia. Is now not one, but two VA homicides, and we're told there could be a lot more. Tonight, a sixth person who died under suspicious circumstances at the Clarksburg VA Medical Center has been identified. At least nine deaths are being investigated as suspicious at the VA Medical Center. Allegations of potential misconduct do not involve current employees. We now know that transfer may have been a death sentence for the 92-year-old. We will continue to coordinate with the affected families, but in order to protect the integrity of the investigation, we will not be making any additional comments until this investigation hey, is complete. Hey, are you finished with filming already? Final shot on the bridge. Have you heard about these deaths at the Veterans Hospital in Clarksburg? Yeah, actually, I have. Apparently, it has an old employee as a person of interest. Ten unexplained deaths in over a year period or so. Someone is killing veterans at the hospital, and it's on the bottom of the second page? I mean, have they found out who did it yet? No. It just mentions a former employee, that's all they say. Hey, what do you think? Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Hmm. What do you think? I think it's a little scary. I mean, I'm not sure that my grandkids would even get that. Well, how about happy lives? <laughs> I like <laughs> Hey, how's Brandon? Oh, he's good. See? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? You get to see the grandkids a lot? Um. Yeah. 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 How did you come to hear about your mother being a person of interest? The first time that I heard about my mother being a person of interest, I was in jail. Brandon Mace? Yeah? Does it? Fan mail? A suspected child neglect reported by Rita Mays. Bad news? My mom is filing yet another report against us. She's trying to get my kids taken away from me. I mean, look, man, it, it says that I'm, she's calling me a drug addict, that I'm irresponsible. And now, Child Protective Services is getting involved. They're gonna open up an investigation, and I'm gonna lose my kids. Your own mom? She's something else, man, I'll tell you what. And this isn't the first time she's done this to me. I have a son who was born with a condition, and she can't see past that, and she does nothing but blame me. And like I said, this is the third time that she's put me and my family through this. How much time you got left? Um, two days. My mom and dad were both in the service. So they were constantly um, in and out. Um, they were both deployed at the same time for quite a while. Um, my mom went to Kuwait, Iraq, Afghanistan, and my dad went to Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, <clears throat> hey, come look at this. 
This lady shared the news post about the person of interest at the VA, mm -hmm. about the homicides. She names a lady Rita Mays. She says that she used to work with her and that everybody knows that she's the prime suspect. Really? Yeah. Um, where? In her post. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything in here. What? It's been taken down. I'm gonna see if she can give me a call. Can you give me a call? Hey, you're out. This has to stop, Mom. What? She's a good mom and we're trying our best. And if you think you're helping, you're not. Brandon, what are you talking about? CPS, Child Protective Services. Yeah, you made us look like we're the worst parents in the world. I was just trying to help. Well, please stop trying to help because Andrea's pissed and now I can't go home. <sighs> hey, why don't you stay here? I mean, and bring the kids. Fine. Hey, Brandon, there's a new series on Netflix. I think you'll like it. You want to watch that this weekend? Sure. Great. When they came back from their deployment, we moved to Broad Oaks in Clarksburg and Everything was good. My dad got his journeyman's electrician's license. My mom was working at rest care at the time, working with uh, mentally incapacitated people. Um, we owned a restaurant in Nutter Fort. It was called Sandy Dandies. Um, you know, it was it was, a, it was a good childhood, and for the most part, um, dad was kind of strict. Mom was more lenient. Um, You're a rat, kid. I told you yesterday. How many times do you want me to tell you now? <laughs> Uh, you wanted me to call you? Yes, thank you. I saw a post on your wall about the VA. You named a lady, Rita Mays. Who are you? My name is Jason Campbell, and I'm a filmmaker. I want to do a story, maybe a film about this. The more I look into it, the crazier it gets. I can't believe this has been going on. Yeah, a, a whole year. And they knew that whole time that it was her. She still works there? I don't know. I, I heard she went into housekeeping or something. Do you know this lady? I do. Well, and how do you know this lady? <sighs> Everyone knows that she did it. They, they know that she did it. They just, they can't prove it yet. I, I know, but to just throw her name out... Sir, she was the only person, the very last person, to be with these people before they died. And they all died? Yeah. Of insulin overdose. Listen, I, I need to go. I, I should not be talking to you. Well, why did you take your post down? Hello? Hello? I, I didn't. Um, you should probably call the news station. Um, they goofed and tagged her in some kind of a post. What? She, hello? What'd she say? Uh, 
she said that it was her name was put in the article by mistake. Senator Joe Manchin visited the Lewis A. Johnson VA Medical Center earlier this afternoon. Uh, we have video now of that visit, and uh, he was there to have a first-hand look at the uh, incidents that have been taking place there. Manchin is vowing to get answers amid reports that at least nine deaths are being investigated as suspicious at the VA Medical Center here in Clarksburg. Uh, hey, Ma. Uh, thanks for letting me use the car. Yeah, you're you're welcome. Hey, hey, Brandon. Uh, uh, don't forget to pick me up tonight. I gotta work again. Yeah. Okay. She's selling tickets to a fall festival. She has her phone number here. I'm gonna call her. Hello? Rita Mays? Who is this? My name is Jason Campbell, and I have a film company called JC Films. I've heard of you. You make those Christian films. Yes, ma'am. I really like them. Oh, well, thank you. Um, did you used to work at the VA hospital? Yes. So you know what's going on there? The deaths. Of course. Well, so I've heard a rumor, and it's it's just a rumor, but you might know a few things. What things? Well, a co-worker posted that you're the person of interest the news is talking about. Really? I know about that. But look, I really can't be talking to you. Why is that? The truth always comes out. I'm sorry? Look, I really have to go. She just hung up. It was yesterday that we learned a second death was ruled a homicide after an autopsy. The autopsy found the cause of death was insulin by injection. Senator Manchin touring the facility here in Clarksburg, meeting with veterans along with the VA staff. Officials at the medical center said in an emailed statement that the allegations of potential misconduct do not involve current employees. Hey, I need a favor. The VA story you guys ran? Yeah, that one. I was told a name was posted in the article by accident. Thank you. Yep, yeah, not a word. I promise. Hey, Heather. Yeah? So, apparently, when the news ran that article about the person of interest, the name was leaked. And that name was tagged in the news clip by accident. And they took that one down, too. It was her. She has two sons. I wonder if one of them will talk to me. Brandon? Thanks for meeting with me. Have a seat. So... I'm captivated by this VA case, and oddly enough, your mom's name is attached all over it. You know that, right? Yeah. I mean, she, she told me that you called her, but she can't talk to you right now. Maybe you can tell me what's going on? Um... I saw some things on social media, um, but it's all lies, all of it. Maybe you can, maybe you can help get that out. Maybe. Um, does she know you're here? Uh, no, no. 
I did a little research, and your dad's in jail for child pornography, and your mom is the suspected person of interest in the largest murder case in West Virginia. Hey! She didn't do it! Dude, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put all that she, out there. She... She didn't do it. She... Okay. She didn't do it. Okay, okay. But why do people think she did? I don't know. Maybe they need somebody to blame for it. Well, do you all talk about it at home? Not, not really. Listen, I don't know if you're interested, but I want to do a film about this. TV? Yeah, and yeah. I, I, I would really like to talk with your mom. But if I can't, maybe I could talk with you? However this plays out, I, I don't know. But maybe you and I can meet every so often. I'll interview you and we can video document this horrible thing from your perspective. In 2011, our house burned down in Broad Oaks and we moved from Broad Oaks to Reynoldsville and we've lived on a 74 acre farm in Reynoldsville since. Um, since then, my dad's been in prison and my mom has been between three jobs she had, she worked at rest care, and then the VA. Mr. Williams, thank you so much for your service. Unfortunately, there's not much more that we can do for you. I am so sorry. Is there anybody we can call? The Justice Department confirmed it's joining the investigation into suspicious deaths at a VA medical center in West Virginia. At least 10 veterans may have died from insulin injections they were not supposed to get. 
Hey, Ma. Hey. How was work? You know, it was really, really good. Well, it must have been. It was. It really was. Do you want to tell me about it? Not really. No. Why do you have that? Look, I don't want to talk about it. Let's just go home. The lab coat. Let's just go home. Fine. We're going home. Let's go. I know she has severe PTSD. Actually, I went into her room one time to wake her up, and she pulled the pistol that she had underneath her pillow on me, not purposely, but because I startled her. Dr. Rita Vangs. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. We tried everything that you both tried. There's no hope for you now. We tried every test, but I understand. There's no hope for who you are. Because I've been there too. I've been there too. We've done. I was in the service and I served. Just like you did. Just like you did. And it's thank you, sir, for the many years of service to your country. It's me, it's me, Brandon. It's just me. You're gonna be late for work. Did you know she slept with a gun? No. Tell me a good memory you have with your mom. What do y'all like to do? Um, the first time I went deer hunting, it wasn't my dad that took me, it was my mom. And we went out and we went up on the hill and Shoot it. Shoot it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. It'll kill the spirits. Wow. 
Where did it all go wrong in your family? I don't know. I think we're, uh, I think we're cursed. Are you in trouble? You can tell me, are you in trouble? Oh, well, I'm, uh, I'm good. <clears throat> All right, let's just cut there. So I was thinking after the holidays, would you want to meet again? Yeah? Can I? Can I go? Yeah. Yeah, if you want to go, that's okay. Do you know what you're doing? Somewhere in there, there is a good kid. I know there is. My neighbor, actually, um, I was staying with him, asked me, so what's all this about going on with your mom? And this is, it had been five months since the last time I heard anything about it. Well, I hadn't spoke to my mom about it. I didn't even think about it because it was one of those things that I wasn't trying to really think about something like that, think that my mom could do something like that. Um, well, I told him what I knew about that, what I knew about it. I told him that the, fe the federal government had come and spoke to me and that there had been some deaths at the hospital and that she was a person of interest in the case, but that was all I knew. Brandon, have a seat. Thanks for coming. No problem. Brandon, the reason why we brought you here, this is part of an ongoing investigation concerning your mother and her employment at the VA hospital. Now, your mother told us that you would often take her and pick her up from work. Wait. Wait, you talked to my mom? Of course we did. <sighs> she never mentioned anything about meeting with the FBI. Could you answer the question, please? Did you take her and pick her up from work? Sometimes. Did she ever seem agitated or nervous when you would pick her up? No, just tired. Did you ever notice her taking anything from home to work? No. How are things at home? Good, I guess. Anything ever seem odd at home? Odd? Are you or any member of your family a diabetic? I don't think so. Are there any medicines, insulin, syringes in the home that you know of? Wait, 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 wait. What's this about? Brandon, we're investigating the homicides at the VA hospital. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you think my mom has something to do with this? This is just an ongoing investigation. We're not at liberty to discuss anymore. Oh, good, because neither am I. I'm out of here. CBS News has learned investigators have approached a third family requesting permission to exhume another veteran's body and that they've identified a person of interest. I need answers. West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin says his office first learned last summer an inspector general's investigation had been launched, Virginia. but Manchin says third he did not know Virginia foul play was right. suspected. You can imagine the panic that's going on right now. I know of operations that people refuse to have that have been scheduled for a long time. They're concerned about the care. A VA spokesman says the allegations do not involve any current employees. <laughs> oh, oh, Brandon, come in here and watch How's this with me. <laughs> Oh, I love this show. Mom. I met with the FBI today. Mom. 
I met with the FBI about you. They said that you had met with them. Look, it is just an investigation. It's the normal stuff. So your job at the VA, did you quit? Or did they fire you? They offered me a job in housekeeping. And I did not like that job, so I quit. Well, why are all of these people saying that you killed those men? Look! I helped those men. And anybody that says any different, they're just liars. Wait, 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 are you saying that you, you, you did kill those people? Brandon, just remember the truth will always come out. For me, it's more or less, I'd like to get to the, I'd like to get to the conclusion to the truth behind everything because I want to, I, I mean, I don't believe that my mom has that capability. Well, what did you tell them? Exactly what I told you, that there was no way that she could have done this. Just no way. I mean, my mom, I mean, she's kind, but she's not perfect. I mean, how could she have killed all of those people? Why would she have killed all those people? I mean, doesn't anybody think that they could have just died? I mean, I mean they were old. Well, they found needle marks in the autopsies. They're classified as homicides. What? Uh, uh, look, uh, Andrea didn't take my meeting with the FBI all too well. And she called off our wedding. I'm sorry, Brandon. Are you all still together? No. Do you still see your children? <sighs> My kids. <sighs> yeah. It's, um, it's complicated. My grandbabies! Come see Grandma! <clears throat> Thanks for doing this. My kids are not going inside the house, Brandon. I don't care what they do outside. Eat, play, they're not going inside that house. Okay. okay. I mean it. Okay. Your mom's crazy. Andrea. Don't be teaching my kids your voodoo crap. Stop, stop. Not in front of the kids, please. Just take, take five, do something. Not in front of the kids. Get out of my chair. Does your mom have a temper? <laughs> I mean, she's, she's a mom. I mean, of course she can get mad. Um, but you have to remember that she served overseas. She was in Iraq and Afghanistan and, and the things that she saw when she was over there. I mean, they it really, really messed her up bad. That was the army, right? Yeah. Um, uh, Jason, I... I I don't want to talk about the past, you know, with, with the holidays and everything. It's just, I... Oh, I got it. I got it. Do, um, do you know Tanya Hellman? She's your neighbor. Uh, your mom's neighbor. Uh, oh, 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 uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's friends with mom. Uh, she sometimes walks her dog in, in our driveway. Her grandfather was a veteran, and he served in the Korean War. Did you ever get to meet him? The Korean War? No, I, I, don't, I don't know. His name was Arnie Eldridge. He was under your mom's care. Now, this is from a complaint, so nothing's proven, okay? He was 84 years old and considered reasonably healthy. And then he dies, overdose of insulin. 
his sugar dropped to 24. I'm not really sure what that means, but I've been told that anything less than 70 is low. But here's the thing. They revive him, and he's fine. Your mom sits with him the next night, and his levels mysteriously drop again, and he dies. So, what does that even mean? Well, it means that someone dosed him up with insulin, and when it didn't work, they did it again. When was this? That was March 2018. And then two days later, a patient named Gary Sharp dies. And that was on March 26th, 2018. Overdose of insulin. Then about a week later, another patient dies on April 4th. And then, Frank McIntosh. He went bowling the night before. He dies on April 9th. Again, ruled homicide by insulin injection. Brandon, these men were all under your mom's care. Wait, 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 wait. My mom wasn't a nurse or a doctor. No, she, she is not. But she did sit with these men in their rooms overnight. And she also told the VA when she was hired that she was a certified nursing assistant, and she wasn't. So either my mom's a liar or, 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 or she plays pretend? So, so wait, you're saying that she injected these random men with insulin, killing them? Veterans, like her? That's what people are saying. Jason. I know my mom's not perfect, but a murderer? Well, well, I hope not. No, no way, no way. You think it's possible your mom did it accidentally? Or was something else? That... There's a very large possibility that something like that could have happened accidentally because being a nurse's aide, you go into a room, you follow the chart. So if someone got something mixed up on a chart, and said that this person needed insulin, and they really didn't, and you give them insulin, it's not your fault. You, did, you, were, you were doing your job. You were following the chart for what they had written out for that person. There's a, there's a possibility that something like that could have happened, but for something like this to happen multiple times, or for multiple deaths to be brought into the light that could have been wrongful, there's a little less of a possibility that something like this happened accidentally. I know that this looks bad, but what if the VA is covering something up? Or, or someone, a doctor? Well, why would you say that? Because the VA is corrupt, everybody knows that. You said it's bad. I mean, yeah, yes, yes, of course, it looks bad. I know my mom's name is attached to all of these cases, but I, just, no, no, there's, there's just no way. Well, yeah, I, I've, I've seen some complaints, uh, wrongful death suits against the VA. I'm not sure when they're gonna file, but they name your mom. And these are civil suits, not criminal. You know the difference, right? Yeah. I know the difference. But if, if these people are so sure that it was my mom, and they're so convinced, then why isn't the government so convinced? I mean, I mean, they have to have more power than just one. One attorney, right? Well, I'm, I'm not sure it's one lawyer. <laughs> that is completely circumstantial. Well, how do you know that? Because my mom told me. So she is following the civil suit? Yeah. Yeah, it's all rumors. 
Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Sit, sit down. Like you said, it's all rumors now. So how is she handling it? How is she handling it? My mom sits out on that porch day by day in her rocking chair, back and forth, back and forth, every single day. Is everything okay? Yeah. What's going on? <sighs> thank you, thank you, Senator Moran. Uh, thank you for uh, all of you for being here. And uh, I've got two questions, but uh, Dr. Stone, I think you know the first question is going to be concerning the, the VA deaths. We have over 11 uh, murders at the VA hospital in Clarksburg, West Virginia. It's been a year and a half, and maybe you can update me a little bit. I get calls every day still yet from families, and I know you were kind enough to come in and we talked about, and I appreciate that, but if you have any new updated messages or information I can give to the families in West Virginia, I'd appreciate it. Senator Manchin, um, you and I share the, our abhorrence of what occurred here, and uh, I appreciate the time you gave me in your office to have a discussion of this. Uh, I cannot give you additional information. Time-wise, there's nothing. Uh, I, I am at this. He won't even same, answer any of his questions. The same restrictions that you are. Sure. Uh, the, One of the most I powerful men in the IQ, Senate. Uh, every two weeks. Uh, I feel so bad for the families. I've heard department. the U.S. Attorney. The, the U.S. Attorney. Is well, the one who's have you reached out to any of them? And there's another. I am not aware of that. You think I should? I am not aware of that. Uh, I can Good also news. tell you that I find out. Okay. That sounds good. Well, uh, Thursday would probably be the best day. Okay. Hey, that sounds fine. Do me a favor. When you get to the gate, just give me a call. That way I can let you in. All right, thanks. Bye. Mom, who was that? Nobody. Tonight, a sixth person who died under suspicious circumstances at the Clarksburg VA Medical Center has been identified. We do know the identity of the person of interest in this case, but we won't be identifying her until she is formally charged. They had told me that a couple people had gotten insulin that weren't supposed to be get, get insulin. Um, they had explained to me what happens to people who are non-diabetic that don't need insulin in their in their body when they can when they receive extra insulin it can cause their liver and kidneys to shut down it can cause their body the organs to shut down Brandon huh Brandon what Brandon wake up I'm up I'm up no I need you to wake up come on come on come on let's go come all on right, all right all right all right I'm Look, up I'm up I'm come up on, I'm come up, on, come I'm, up. I'm up I have some visitors coming in from Massachusetts, and I need you to go to the grocery store for me. Who? My 
So here's a list. Can I Let's get a go. shower? Lady no, first? no. I need you to go now. Wait, what kind of friends? Listen. What are you? They're up coming to? soon. It's it's it's. You okay, gotta hey, go. Whoa, whoa, shh. Can I get a shower first? No. Please, please, please. No, 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 no. No, look. You gotta go. Go now. What? I need my shoes. Serial killer. I know it's you, Maze. Hey, buddy, I'm talking to you. You're Rita Maze's kid. What's it like to have your mom as a serial killer? Leave me alone. I said I'm talking, talking to you, man. Leave me alone. Huh? Leave me alone! No, no. Leave me alone! Leave me alone. Come on, some of me, Maze? Come on. What's the matter with you people? What's wrong? Leave me alone! No, it's you. I'm a serial killer, huh? Alone! That's right. Leave me alone! They told me that there was some things to surface that a couple people had lost their lives and my mom was a person of interest in the case. They weren't pinning guilt on anyone, but they were saying that my mom could be associated with more than one of them, possibly all of them. And... Mrs. Mays. Do you really understand the magnitude and significance of post-traumatic stress disorder and military sexual trauma? So what's next? Miss Mays, I can assure you, charges are coming. Do you think so? Why they haven't yet, I don't know. These six federal lawsuits name you. Now, the evidence in these civil complaints is overwhelming. Now, the government, they've been working on this case their case against you for what? Over two years? Well, I can assure you, they're only fine-tuning their arrest warrant. But we'll fight it, I assure you. But we have to have your military records. Without that, we can't represent you. The faster we get on this, the better. Miss Mays, we do a lot of death penalty cases. The death penalty is illegal in West Virginia. I know, Mrs. Mays, but your charges are, are federal murder charges. That girl that you guys helped. Christine Gilston. Well, she did not die. No, she didn't, Miss Mays. All right, so if I sign this, you're gonna look at everything and you're going to tell me the truth. That's what we're here for, Mrs. Mays. And you're going to call me? Yes. If charges are filed and your mom's arrested, do you think she's prepared for that? Um, I think that she's preparing herself for it. But... I think that she feels that charges aren't going to be filed because she knows her truth behind it. Whether she was, she knows that if she's innocent, she knows that. If she, if she's guilty, she knows that as well. Hello? Okay. I understand. All right, thanks. Mm, bye.
So just tell me what you wanted to tell me today. Um, the other day, I was asked by my grandparents to come up and help hang some drywall in their kitchen that they're remod they're refer finishing. Um, while I was there, my mom called and spoke to me on the phone admitting to the murders that happened at the VA. Um. I made some cookies for you guys this time. Would you like one? No, thank you. How about you? No, oh, thanks, Miss Mays. Well, I thought about this. And if they're going to blame me and you feel like they can win, I don't see any other option. This is what happened to Gordon. With all due respect, Miss Mays, this is nothing like your husband's case. I understand. Then I'll admit it. What are you talking about? Admit what? Just calm down, Brandon. No, 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 no. Admit what? Just calm down, Brandon. It'll be all right. If we pursue a trial, death penalty is going to be on the table. It's a foregone... No, 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 Mom. You, you can't admit to this. No. You, you said they're liars. 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 Honey. You said the truth would come out. Honey, they, they want to kill me. Miss Mays, you have to agree upon seven second-degree murders and one assault intent to commit murder. Do you understand that, Mrs. Mays? Yes. You would be facing life in prison. Life. 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 No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, mom, no. No! I had been told by my aunt that she had admitted to my grandmother and indirectly I asked her, you know, is there something that you need to tell me? I mean... I already know. And she started crying and she said, Brandon, I'm sorry I lied to you, but it, it was me. It, it was my fault. And I just kind of froze. I put the phone down walked outside and kind of had a mini meltdown but it definitely broke my heart more than anything um, likely took her last breath of free air before walking into the U.S. District Court building in Clarksburg, West Virginia this afternoon. Once inside, she pled guilty to killing seven veterans and attempting to kill an eighth while working as a nursing assistant at the Clarksburg VA. News on Federal the sentencing of a nursing assistant who pleaded guilty to killing seven patients at a VA hospital in West Virginia. Nursing assistant just pleaded guilty to killing seven veterans at this West Virginia VA hospital. Rita Mays was sentenced today to seven 
life terms for the killings at the VA Medical Center in Clarksburg, West Virginia. Investigators say she injected them with insulin that killed them. Part of the plea deal includes seven consecutive life sentences, something the victim's families Rita are happy Mays to was see. In tears pretty much from the beginning, and that continued as she was led away in handcuffs. Rita Mays, she admitted giving the patients unprescribed insulin injections while she worked overnight shifts at the Lewis A. Johnson VA Medical Center in Clarksburg. The victim's families are calling this the work of a serial killer. His daughter told the court she's lost all faith in the VA system and she called Mays a coward. The uh, federal judge who sentenced Mays today called her a monster of the worst kind.